down the road. And um, I come, f I mean, probably quite a lot of the students will be children of some of my former constituents. And, um, you know, I came from Handsworth and became a cabinet minister and a member of parliament. They all come from similar backgrounds to me, or most of them. And I was saying to them, the world's your oyster. People have all got different talents, but everybody's got some brilliance. Find your path, go for it. So it was very kind of personal. I feel like it could be me. Yeah. They're very similar to me, the families and the, um, the students. Very nice. To give not just everyone in our country, but everyone in the world a fair chance in life to get some basic health care and a chance of education and a chance you know, for parents to see their kids do better. It's both a sort of moral decency and it's a way to make the world safe. You can spend masses of money on armaments, but if you can develop the world fairly evenly and give everyone a fair chance, we will have a safer world. And we'd be more capable of cooperating to do with things like climate change, whereas if we all, if some people have got nothing and they feel angry and then you get division and hatred and bombs and war and, and that's not good for anybody. And the government had been very mean-spirited. At first they were saying we won't do anything, and it was public opinion that shamed them. And then they came up with these 20,000 over five years commitment. It was better than before, and it was because of public opinion, as they saw people struggling, that little boy dying in Turkey, you know, that was drowned in the sea. Um, and they won't cooperate in any European-wide solution, and yet we, no one country can solve this. I mean, there's two parts of it. One is in the wretched war in Syria, and there hasn't been enough effort in that direction, and included by Britain, um, and then the other is to take care of the people who've been forced out of their country by horrendous violence. And you know, the vast bulk of refugees are in the neighbouring very poor countries, Jordan, Lebanon. Lebanon has got about four million of its population and a million people from Syria. So we should just play our part, firstly in looking after people and then secondly in solving the problem which is to end the war.